Hey, what's going on? My name is Brennan Myers, and in this video, and actually I'm cooking up some cheese right now, because we're gonna be talking about how I lost so much weight in one week from the ketogenic diet. So here's the thing with the ketogenic diet. The main thing is, you know, you see all these programs everywhere, and, and, and first of all, I just wanna let you know, the reason why I'm wiping cheese all over my body right now is because the number one way to absorb things into your body is, well, first things, uh -uh, and then the second one is actually through your skin. Um, vitamin D, so important here. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. We see people eating steaks and, and cheese, and, and they're really giving the whole entire industry a bad rap. You're not gonna rub cheese all over your body and expect to lose fat. You're not gonna be eating a bunch of just fatty foods and think, oh, I'm just gonna lose weight because I'm pretty close to ketosis and I'm gonna reduce my carbohydrates. No, look, ketosis, ketogenic diet, all these diets are the same thing pretty much. Like. To, to like a, a certain extent. Ketosis and everything, there's some science behind that. Intermittent fasting, there's some science behind that. But when it comes down to burning fat and it comes down to building muscle, it, it comes down to one simple fact, right? Calories burn, calories in, calories out. So I'm gonna show you some food that I have in my kitchen, like things that I pre-make so you can actually build your own nutritional system for yourself. And right here is eggplant. We got some quinoa. Um, I even add some couscous in here, some lentils. And then another one of the dishes that I like to consume, not like low carb, not crazy high protein, just simplified here is going to be some peppers. We got white rice. We also have some mahi mahi, very delicious. Good amount of protein. Like Everything here is what you need. So let me just dive into why I believe that the ketogenic diet is kind of overwhelming to many. So when you talk about ketosis, you think eat a bunch of fatty foods and you'll be able to lose a bunch of weight and you'll feel really, really good. And once you lose that weight, you can really build a lot of lean muscle and just eat the foods that you enjoy, right? But the reason why it is so overwhelming to most is because of how hard it is to get into ketosis and how hard it is to maintain that ketosis once you're in it. I tried it myself and I had a lot of issues because I don't know the process. I am not a registered dietitian. I am not a nutritionist. I don't know the specific protocol on how to get there and then also be consistent with it. And the reason why I say that is because that's not what I try and sell online. That's not where I say I'm an expert in. I am not trying to be someone I am not. And when it comes down to ketosis, I do not ever want someone to try and get there on their own. You're just going to see a huge decline in your health pretty quickly because very, 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 very low carb and extremely high fat without being in ketosis is very unhealthy for you. So with that being said, you need to understand how much fat you can lose per week. I've already discussed this two videos ago when I was talking about Nutella. So one to two pounds of fat loss per week and that is it. You're not realistically going to lose 20 pounds of fat in a week, not even two weeks, not even really three weeks. You gotta understand, losing fat is a process. It's a long process and you need to be consistent just like your strength gains, just like lean muscle growth. And when it comes to losing a bunch of weight in two weeks, if you lost like 20 pounds, the majority of it was probably water weight. Actually, it was water weight, and you probably had some really good poops before you jumped on that scale. You need to pay close attention to the real facts when it comes to losing weight so you don't steer yourself off path and start telling yourself in your mind, damn, like, I'm not getting there. Or if you're trying to build muscle, damn, like why am I not building muscle so quickly? I had a couple people send me Instagram messages talking about how they haven't really lost that much fat, but they've lost so much weight. You probably have actually lost a lot of fat, you just can't see it, and you've lost a lot of water weight, and that's why you're feeling like, oh, I, I haven't really done anything in the past three months. That's three months of work. So stay consistent and understand the, the, the simple facts behind losing weight. Now, when we jump into the keto diet, like I said, it's hard to get into ketosis. I got sick when I was trying to get there and I felt bad. I just barely got into it and then I was like, I'm done with this. I'm going back to just regular eating because that's what I enjoy and that's what's easy to me, really. I mean, like I would rather just consume foods that I know are healthy for me and 
enjoy my life and, and just control my cravings when I need to and have a cheat meal when I want to. I don't want to focus on any type of a diet, but the keto diet really does provide a lot of easy money for people online and companies online to just sell you a plan. But if you're not getting it from a registered dietitian, if you're not learning the keto diet and going through the process through someone like a nutritionist, someone who's licensed, who has done it with thousands of people or hundreds of people, then I, I highly, highly suggest you don't follow through with it and just go with your gut. There's a few people I would personally trust to take that next step with. Um, and most of the people online are not them. And I don't say that in hate or anything to how much money they're making, but I don't wanna see someone get sick for the money. That's just, that, that's not cool, okay? Now, when it comes to your nutrition and you want to lose fat, I just suggest trying to be as healthy as possible. Like, eat healthy foods and be realistic with your goals. This is not a money type goal thing. You're not gonna say like, hey, I'm gonna be making like $10 million in, in three weeks. Like that's not realistic, right? Just like losing 20 pounds in a week is not realistic. So be realistic with your goals, with what I told you and how much fat you can lose. So just try to eat foods that help with your digestion. That's another big thing. If you're consuming steak on top of steak, on top of steak, on top of cheese, on top of cheese, on top of cheese, yeah, it might taste delicious, not if you're vegan, obviously if you're vegan, you wouldn't want anything to do with that, but it's not going to help you and, and, and allow your body to recover properly because it's just taking so much time to digest down your system. Like, come on. I, I mean, th there's, there's so many people online talking about this stuff and, and making it seem like you can eat whatever you want and feel incredible just because you're on a diet. This is, is, might not be perfect for you. Ketosis and getting into that specific the range might not be perfect for you. Intermittent fasting might be better for you. Or just a regular old diet where you're eating four times a day might be better for you. I eat four times a day. I've done intermittent fasting. I've done all these different things. But what I find best for me is just, hey, eat good foods. Things that I am consciously aware that, hey, this is good for my body. And I just progress going that down that route as I'm trying to build lean muscle or trying to get stronger, whatever my goals are. If, if you're not doing any cardiovascular training, um, I suggest you do jump on that because obviously your heart has a lot to do with how you recover and how quickly you can adapt to situations in, in your body. So like if your heart rate every single day is high 70s, it's gonna be a big difference between someone that is mid 50s to low 60s. That's why I always talk about eating for long-term health, training for long-term health, and being conscious of your stress for long-term health because of that heart. It's all about that heart, obviously every other organ, but that heart especially. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about how you can take a diet and just you know consume what you need to consume in order to build the body that you desire without having to think you have to invest like hundreds of dollars in this program for, for, for a keto diet or hundreds of dollars for intermittent fasting diet. Although they do work respectively, um, it doesn't work for everybody and you need to be careful and follow a process that is given to you by someone that is licensed, that does it, that has testimonials and you can trust. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't already, comment down below. I am giving away $100 on this video. The funniest, most whatever comment just comment down below and I will be picking one person for $100. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Peace.